Hi everybody, welcome back to the Masterful Plumbing YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about how you crimp fittings for PEX pipe, uh, commonly used for plumbing. We're only going to be talking about the, the regular PEX today, we're not going to be talking about PEX A, B, C, D, whatever it is that you all you other guys always like to talk about out there, but today we're going to just talk about the basic PEX and what an average homeowner may need to do if they want to attempt to use this type of pipe in their home to do any kind of a repair. Uh, before we begin though, I'd like you to go ahead and go down there to that lower right hand corner of your screen and click the uh, red subscribe button. It does help us tremendously. Uh, okay, let's begin. So right here on the bench we have a just a, a piece of three quarter inch uh, PEX tubing right here that we're going to use for demonstrations today. I've gone ahead and made up a few pieces here just to you know kind of give you an idea. We've got our crimper uh, tool kit right here. Uh, this particular one um, is actually an IWIS. I guess it's called and uh, I don't use it a whole ton but uh, you know I keep it on the truck for you know when I do need to make these type of repairs uh, this particular one I can use copper rings or steel rings with uh, for the crimping and then uh, the only other thing I would mention is that there are plastic PEX fittings and there are also brass fittings uh, the first demonstration I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you is actually how to go ahead and use the brass fitting right there. We've already got one side already crimped right there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and slip this on here. Now usually you won't have the luxury of doing this on a bench like I am doing. You'll be doing it somewhere in your basement, a confined space likely. But So what you always want to do is make sure you get your, your ring on there. I've heard guys say that you should actually pull them back from that end a little bit. Um, I've also heard guys say, nope, nope, they should be like that. You know, I don't know. You know, all us plumbers have our own methods. Um, if you don't believe me, go down and read some of the comments on my videos, and you'll see how much our comments do, or, I, or our, uh, how much our opinions do vary from time to time. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I always like to get it on there like that, so that's just already on there. And then I go ahead and get that onto there like that. You can see, I actually just push that right on. It goes on quite easy. Then I'm gonna go ahead and get that ring down there. Now I I do like to pull them back just a little bit. Uh, again, I'm sure somebody will call me out and tell me that I've done that wrong but um, I've never had a problem with it so as you can see right here though I'm gonna take my, my crimper tool like this I'm gonna actually open it um, in this particular case I'm gonna go ahead and just put it like this and I'm gonna get it right down here and I'm gonna get it onto that I'm gonna make sure I'm on it all the way around now in this particular case this is really tight right here so I'm going to make sure I've got that right there, like that. And I'm going to crimp. As you can see, I closed my handles right here. And they actually kind of make a locking sound like that when, they, when it's actually been crimped all the way. And then to make sure that that is indeed going to hold, you can always grab it with your hand, make sure it doesn't turn. Uh, this particular manufacturer, this uh, toolkit, um, they actually give us a handy little gauge right here that, that tells us whether that crimp is good. They actually give you a little diagram right here on the handle of the crimper um, that tells you how far this gauge should go on to it. So it doesn't go all the way on. They say that's not okay. It should actually go on with just that little bit right there. So basically that center line that's on here you see right there is going to go to the center line of this basically so you can see right there that is actually perfect so I know that my crimping tool is adjusted correctly I already knew that um, but that's actually how you check it that's how you can actually have some peace of mind that your crimp fitting is not going to just blow apart when you do turn the water back on all right so let me show you guys how to do this one more time on a straight fitting i'm going to go ahead and just uh, move that over there right there uh, to cut packs piping there's different types of cutters for that mostly this is what i use and you just get it on there go ahead and cut it off it gives you a nice square cut square enough anyway and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my, my crimp rings. I'm going to put it on here like this. I'm going to go ahead and insert that fitting into there. Pull my crimp ring back. Again, I like to leave just a little bit of overhang right there. Um, I don't think it hurts anything to do so. But again, some of you guys have been doing this for 142 years. You can actually go ahead and correct me if I'm wrong on that. So I'm going to go ahead and just crimp that one on there and have that ready. I'm going to go ahead and take my other one. I'm going to get my ring on here. I'm going to go ahead and get that in place like that. So again, I'm going to get that kind of about where I like it. I'm going to go ahead and take my crimping tool. I'm going to get it on there again, and I'm going to crimp it one more time. And that is actually how you join two pieces of three-quarter inch PEX tubing right there. Um, as you can see, that is actually on there. I cannot move that or twist it. 
Uh, and our gauge right here should tell me that once again that that is on there in the perfect way. It's the basics on how you crimp PEX tubing together and uh, that's going to conclude today's video. I'd like to go ahead and remind you guys to keep the hot on the left and the cold on the right and everything will be all right.